Welcome to 3D Amazon FBA. Today I'm going to tell you guys and do like a little tutorial about um, tactical arbitrage. So those for you that are um, new to like online sourcing or new to Amazon, what tactical arbitrage is, is basically a software that um, you, you set up parameters and you like, say you want to search toys at Walmart for example, it'll take from the toys departments you select, so if you specifically select uh, Marvel toys for example, it'll scan every Marvel toy sold on Walmart and it will look for the same exact item on Amazon and it looks for a price differential about your parameters and I'll explain that because I'm going to show you guys the actual program. But so tactical arbitrage basically looks for price differences between what you tell it to scan and Amazon. So if you're like, you know, Marvel Toys, four dollar profit, fifty percent return on investment, it'll pull up every toy that meets that parameter, and uh, and then you look through it and you make your buying decisions. So I strongly recommend having Keepa if you're going to use tactical arbitrage. And there is uh, a monthly cost to keep a tactical arbitrage is a paid program so it's it's not free or anything you know and uh, I've like talked to a couple people online that like Alex Moss is the guy that actually like runs tactical arbitrage and you know he's always innovating the program you know it's it's really cool and it's really worth the money um, I didn't use it for like a year because I just do um, retail arbitrage because I just don't like sitting home and I get bored on the computer. But I've grown to the point where I can't keep up doing only retail arbitrage. So I'm implementing tactical arbitrage to kind of supplement it to save me time because I was spending 15 hours a day, sun up to sun down, three days a week sourcing. And uh, I just don't want to do that much sourcing and, and all the other stuff that goes along with packaging up my stuff. So using tactical arbitrage really um, saves me a lot of time because I can just sit down and watch movies with my kids and go through what pulls up. You know, plus it saves me a lot of money in boxes and shipping materials and stuff using or, you know, buying from online. So if you guys are interested in tactical arbitrage I totally uh, recommend picking up the program and again I'm not affiliated with them I'm not getting any kind of a commission or anything like that you know so I just recommend getting it because it'll save you a lot of time and you can make better buying decisions so I'm going to you know go um, load up the program and uh, yeah I'll show you how it works here we are so this is tactical arbitrage you know I, I've signed in and um, what you want to do is you go to product search right here on the left hand side so you pick your website from here um, you know this is the product search page and it's there we go it's been a little slow so here's a list of all the different websites there's hundreds of them so there's two differences between the, the websites is the ones that say UPC on it that means they're going to scan looking for the exact same UPC codes on the two separate products, or not the two separate products, but they're going to look for exact matches um, from 1,000 light bulbs in this case and Amazon. So it'll pull up the exact matching UPC. And title image, so what this does is if you're scanning onesale.com in this instance, it's going to look for the same exact title and or uh, image. So if it has the same picture, it'll pull it up on um, Amazon. If it has the same exact title, it'll pull it up on Amazon. You know, obviously UPC is going to be a little bit more uh, exact. You know, you're going to have better results of finding the same exact product. You know, because there could be, for example, socks or something that have the same image on several listings on, on Amazon. So sometimes it does get the wrong um, item. So uh, what I'm going to scan is Walmart, something real simple to show you guys. So where's Walmart on here? All right. So we're going to look at Walmart. Walmart is a UPC uh, website which is really easy. 
So since it's in the middle of, <coughs> excuse me, of um, January, you know, there's a lot of clearance toys. So toys is a good area to look at. So it will search up to 500 different categories. So in the parentheses here, it shows that toys has 1,465 categories. So we're going to pick and choose which ones we want it to look at. So if you hit the arrows, it'll give you the opportunity to be more specific. So if you want to do Care Bear toys or Fisher Price Little People, let's do that. G.I. Joe, um, you know, if you want to do Ghostbusters toys, you know, whatever, anything you want. So let's do action figures, Disney. I've seen a lot of games go on clearance, like in the store. So let's check that out. Let's see what else. Top rated toys, toys character shop. All right, that looks good. Walmart exclusive toys. You always want to check exclusives for toys. All right, so that's everything. So we have 420 categories we're going to scan. So we send it to Bolt. So it's going to scan 420 different categories here. So now what you do is you scroll down. So the first thing is price adjustments. So if there's like a store discount, like, I don't know, say they're running a 10% discount site-wide or something like that, you'd put 10% right here. Walmart's not doing that, so we leave it blank. <coughs> ah, sorry. Cash back is if you're using like Rakuten, which um, you would put like 2 or 3%. I don't do that. Uh, I just leave that blank always. I just assume that's an extra bonus. I don't want that built into the cost of the product because what all this does is it's going to adjust the price to pull up profitable items for you. So if you don't know what Rakuten is, it's a rebate site. It used to be Ebates. So I'll explain it better later whenever I go to Walmart when I show you some search results. But it basically, you just click on the Chrome extension and it's going to attach. I think Walmart's running a 1% cash back right now. So if you have a gift card, you know, you can put like a gift card percentage here. Again, I would just leave that blank. And next is sales tax. So my local sales tax is eight and a quarter. So that will build it into the price. So if something is $6.97, tactical arbitrage will pull it up at $7.57 because that would be including the sales tax on the product. So I have this pretty much um, filled out because I pretty much run this search. Um, I average 90 day rank. You could do current 30 day rank. For toys, I do 200,000 sales rank. That'll sell basically one per day of that specific item. Remove if self et sales estimates are less than, I put 30, but you can erase that if you want. You can put 50, whatever um, the estimated sales you want it to be. You would put that in that um, blank space. Um, if you want... So this will say how many people you want to compete with. So if there's like less than one person on the listing or two, however many people, then you'd put that. Or if you don't want to compete with many, if you only want to compete with five sellers, you put five and it won't pull up anything that has five or more sellers. You know, I just leave all this stuff blank. That's already blank. I don't want any third party sellers because like, especially with Walmart, I've had a lot of toys come back to me damaged. And if it's a third-party seller, it's more of a hassle to return it because if it's sold by Walmart, I can just go straight to the store, two-mile drive, and get my money back. Um, I don't want any oversized products. I don't want to see anything out of stock because I want to buy the product today. You know, this is if Amazon doesn't have a weight or size on their website. I don't worry about that. That's real easy to, to do using um, Inventory Lab. I don't worry if Amazon's a seller or not because sometimes I'll choose to compete with Amazon. Sometimes I don't. Every case is different. <coughs> so those would be the main ones you'll be, or you might choose to use. 
Um, I don't remove any search terms. I just ignore that completely. Cost fees. So this would be for people that use like prep centers. So if you send yourself to a prep center and they charge you a dollar an item, you just put in a dollar. Um, if they charge more for an oversized product, you know, whatever your, your prep center charges you. If your prep center charges you to create a bundle, how much per pound to ship to Amazon, I leave all that blank. You know, I, I worry about everything on a case-by-case -case basis. Okay, so this is the profit and ROI. So I don't want to see anything that will make me less than a $4 profit and a 50% ROI. You know, you can adjust that if you want 30% ROI, 40%, whatever your specific business model want, allows. That's what you would put there. And again, this is, I don't really deal with this at all. You know, but show no match found results. That will just pull up a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't even have a match. Always show Amazon out of stock results. You know, I don't, I don't check any of this stuff. So once you select all the filters you want to set your criteria, all you do is hit a search. And then it'll take you to this page here. And once it starts to scan, it'll, sh it'll show up right here. So right now it's looking at bulk row, the first bulk row that we um, submitted over. You know, this is kind of 1 to 999 pages. It always says that. You know, once it starts checking the products, it'll tell you, like, you know, how many it's checked right here. And then right here, it'll say how many products is added over to the, the view data page. So you hit view data here, or you can hit view data here. It'll pull up another window. And it takes a second to load. So it hasn't searched anything as you saw, so it won't pull up anything yet. So it'll show up in this, this box. So I'm going to let this run for a bit. And whenever it's done running, I'll come back and I'll show you guys what to do from here. On the other day, run through. So I want to show you guys a few things on how to use the program you get a good idea. I'm not going to go through like the whole list or anything. I'm just going to go through the first uh, five or six items so the video doesn't run too long for you guys. So the first item here clearly is different, and that does happen from time to time. So this one is $5.99. And, you know, the, the adjusted price, because remember I adjusted for sales tax, is six forty eight. And here's um, another plush, which is obviously different. I think I've seen this one at five below before for five dollars. If not, it was pretty similar. So if you scroll over, the barcodes are separate or are different. So that's the first clue that it's clearly not the same item. Besides, you know, just general looking, because some things do look similar. Okay, so at the time it was going for $26.99 for a gross profit of $16.25. You know, 251% ROI. It had three new sailors on, sellers on it. So it's not mean like new sellers, but the product is being sold as new. It gives you the weight, large standard size, so it would go with, you know, your regular shipment. The sales rank is 136,893 at the time of scanning. And it gives the average 90-day sales rank of 155,391. And it's going to sell roughly 21 per month. Um, this number actually isn't very accurate. Um, I would guess it would probably sell closer to 40. But that's um, the sales estimate based off what tactical arbitrage sees. You know, so it shows the average price for 30 days, average 90-day price. Um, Amazon is not selling it, nor are they in stock. And it only has one variation. Variations come in whenever you're dealing with shoes and clothes because you'll have like 50 um, pairs of shoes, for example, between different colors and different sizes. And then competitive FBA sellers, it shows just one. So that's what all that information is here. 
So since we're not even going to waste our time to look at this because it's clearly not the same item, we'll just delete it. Or you can check them off. Uh, it's taking a second. It's lagging. Or you can check them like that as you go through and delete here. Um, I choose to delete them one at a time because sometimes I accidentally delete too many things. So this next thing is a bundle. So clearly you don't really need to look at it. Sometimes they'll have like, for example, three of the same items sold together. So what I do is I just scroll over and look at the price and see if it makes sense. So that one we're not going to look at. This is another bundle, so we're not going to bother with that one either. So this one here, let's see, has different barcodes. So this one, let me see what these are. Bacu gear, three inch tall. See, these are different. So since they're not the same, we're not going to look at it again. All right, so here's Ryan's World. It's a, a tree house. This is the same item. You can see the barcodes match right here. Um, Walmart was selling it for $8.68. And at the time of scanning, it was selling for $32.49. So we'll click on both pages. So things do sell out pretty quick on Walmart. So I usually look at Walmart first to see if they even have it in stock. So you see it's selling for $8.02 plus tax. So with tax, it comes to $8.68 for me. Next, once the listing pops up. And I always want to make sure it has like the same figures because that picture showed figures on it. It doesn't specify. Okay, yeah, it has lot three figures and one surprise figure. So it has four figures with it. So here the price has dropped. So I use Rev Seller right here. So that's what this box is. So here it tells me I'm, I'm gated in Ryan's world, but if I wanted to get approved, I just click there. It'll take me to the approval screen, request approval. They just gated Ryan's world right in the middle of Q4. Yeah, see, I'm not able to get into Ryan's world. No big deal because I don't really find anything from Ryan's world that's uh, profitable. So now it's going for $14.79. This the buy box is still suppressed. So here we go down to um, to Keepa. And again, this is um, Keepa if you're not familiar. So you can see it was going for $32.90, right? Or $32.50, $33. And you can see Amazon is in stock at $8.02. They probably sold out. And someone most likely matched Wal um, Amazon's pricing, and that's probably why the price dropped. So for me, I wouldn't sell this. Amazon gets it in frequently. They run out frequently, too, and the price does go up. But you can see they're out of stock here. Let's scroll in. They're out of stock here, and none sold. I'll take that back. It looks like one sold while Amazon was out of stock. And then it sold when Amazon had some, and then it didn't sell. So this one doesn't look like people are willing to pay the $32.50 from, from what I'm seeing here. Plus, Amazon gets in stock so often, you know, you probably wouldn't have get a chance to, to sell any. So we'll forget about Ryan's World here. Next is a Roblox mystery box the barcodes are different so odds are it's a different item so here we go here's a Bubba Fett action figure the barcodes match it's fourteen dollars and it's selling for thirty four eighty nine the SUP this means the buy box is suppressed 
So with tax, it's a fourteen dollars for me. That's actually a pretty cool figure. So let's scroll down. I'm waiting for Rev Seller to, to pop up and keep us. Sometimes it takes a second. So right now it's going for $29.93. Amazon does get it in. Oh, I didn't mean to go full year. And yeah, and they sell it for twelve ninety nine, about the same price as Walmart. But it still sells even at the the increased price without Amazon. So like right here, it sold for thirty four eighty nine. People were still buying it for thirty four eighty nine. So an item like this is something. I personally would buy because people are willing to buy it and you could make good money. So if it costs $14, you're looking at a 59% ROI, $8 profit. It's super light, so shipping won't cost you very much money. So this is something I would look into buying if you're ungated in Star Wars. Because, uh, yeah, there's there's nothing wrong with this product at all. So, actually, the price went up on Am on from Walmart. So, this happens, too, from time to time, is people – Walmart will sell out, and then people will flip it back on Walmart as third party. So, that's what happened here. So, actually, don't buy this because Walmart sold out, and now somebody else is trying to sell theirs. But what Rakuten is, usually when you go to a website – um, you usually it just pops up, but it didn't pop up for some reason. You hit activate up to five percent cash back, and then it'll take you to this, and it'll give you a breakdown of how much cash back you'll get per category. And then when you're done shopping, like you you buy whatever it is that you buy, and the following day you'll get a message, and it'll say like, "Oh, you got three dollars and forty two cents rebate back." And it goes into your account, and every three months, Rakuten will give you money back. And um, I'll drop a link down at the bottom so you guys can sign up for it. It's real easy. You just click a button, and it's kind of like getting free money shopping online. So, again, thanks for watching my video. If you guys can like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it.